In today's video, let's see the regulation for personal life-saving appliances on ships. The information in this video is sourced from Solus, Chapter 3 Life-Saving Appliances and Arrangements, Part B, Requirements for Ships and Life-Saving Appliances, Section I Passenger Ships and Cargo Ships, Regulation 7 Personal Life-Saving Appliances. The following subjects are discussed in this regulation. First, life buoys. Second, life jackets. Third, immersion suits and anti-exposure suits. Life buoys. Life buoys complying with the requirements of paragraph 2.1.1 of the code shall be so distributed as to be readily available on both sides of the ship and as far as practicable on all of open decks extending to the ship's side. So stowed as to be capable of being rapidly cast loose and not permanently secured in any way. At least one life buoy on each side of the ship shall be fitted with a buoyant lifeline complying with the requirements of paragraph 2.1.4 of the code equal in length to not less than twice the height, at which it is stowed above the waterline in the lightest seagoing condition, or 30 meters, whichever is the greater. Not less than one half of the total number of life buoy self-igniting lights complying with the requirements of paragraph 2.1.2 of the code and be capable of quick release from the navigation bridge. Life buoys with lights and those with light and smoke signals shall be equally distributed on both sides of the ship. Each life buoy shall be marked in block capitals of the Roman alphabet with the name and port of registry of the ship on which it is carried. A life jacket complying with the requirements of paragraph 2.2.1 or 2.2.2 of the code shall be provided for every person on board the ship and, in addition, for passenger ships on voyages less than 24 hours, a number of infant life jackets equal to at least 2.5% of the number of passengers on board shall be provided. For passenger ships on voyages 24 hours or greater, infant life jackets shall be provided for each infant on board. A number of life jackets suitable for children equal to at least 10% of the number of passengers on board shall be provided or such greater number as may be required to provide a life jacket for each child. A sufficient number of life jackets shall be carried for persons on watch and for use at remotely located survival craft stations. The life jackets carried for persons on watch should be stowed on the bridge, in the engine control room, and at any other manned watch station. If the adult life jackets provided are not designed to fit persons weighing up to 140 kilograms and with a chest girth of up to 1,750 millimeters, a sufficient number of suitable accessories shall be available on board to allow them to be secured to such persons. Life jackets shall be so placed as to be readily accessible and their position shall be plainly indicated. Where life jackets provided in compliance with the requirements of paragraph 2. First of may become inaccessible, alternative provisions shall be made to the satisfaction of the administration. This may include an increase in the number of life jackets to be carried. The life jackets used in totally enclosed lifeboats, except freefall lifeboats, shall not impede entry into the lifeboat or seating, including operation of the seat belts in the lifeboat. Life jackets selected for freefall lifeboats, and the manner in which they are carried or worn, shall not interfere with entry into the lifeboat, occupant safety or operation of the lifeboat. Immersion suits and anti-exposure suits. An immersion suit or an anti-exposure suit, of an appropriate size, shall be provided for every person assigned to crew the rescue boat, or assigned to the marine evacuation system party. If the ship is constantly engaged in warm climates where, in the opinion of the administration thermal protection is unnecessary, this protective clothing need not be carried. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this video. Please share with your friends and subscribe to Marinora for more such videos. If you have any queries or comments, drop it in comment box.